everyone and welcome back to another video of my YouTube channel and blog. Today I am going to be making cards from those um, flowers that I colored with the Arteza watercolor pencils. I cut the images out using my brother Scan and Cut and uh, you saw in the beginning there that I had my tablet of Bristol Smooth paper and I cut uh, two pieces five by seven and now I'm just using uh, two colors of Distressed Oxide ink to uh, blend on some color. What The one is Worn Lipstick and the other one is Cracked Pistachio. And these blend very easily on the Bristol. Bristol is very smooth, has a vellum kind of coating to it. So it blends really easily, especially with the Oxide inks. So I'm just going in different directions and putting in this color. I think the these colors blend really well with, with the watercolor pencil colors that I used on the flowers. So these cards that I'm making are, they're going to be like uh, anniversary cards. I will use one of these for um, the anniversary card to give to my husband. Our anniversary is coming up next week. And so I, um, killing two birds with one stone and uh, making these cards and making my anniversary card. And that oxiding cleans, cleans up very easily with um, a baby wipe. And then I just dried off my surface. I used my Distress Sprayer to give some fun uh, Distress looks to my papers. I try to get some big flicks and some little flicks and just let it sit on there about, you know, 20, 30 seconds or so. And then just um, picked it up with a paper towel. And I'm just using my little heat tool to uh, speed up the drying process so I can move along with the making of these cards. So the beautiful flowers and uh, together are the two stamp sets that I'm using from Simon Says Stamp to make these cards and I just thought both of these would work uh, very well for um, like an anniversary card or just a uh, a card just to let your significant other know that you are thinking about them and that you love them. Um, I think I'm going to use the together one uh, to give to my husband. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stamp platform um, and I was just showing there that it says clear because I'm using clear stamps. If you're using your uh, cling stamps or red rubber stamps, um, ones that have, that have foam on them, then you would take the lid off and you would turn it around and um, use it the other direction. So I'm just using some VersaVine um, Black Onyx ink or Onyx Black ink. I always get that backwards. And some Wow Clear Embossing Powder just to um, give that a really nice uh, shiny look to it. And it also um, dries that VersaVine immediately when you do that. I coated both of the backs of the bike flowers liberally with 3M foam tape. Um, I do like to coat them liberally so if you send them through the mail then they won't crush and it they will come through the mail looking just as perfect as when you put them in the mail. So as uh, if you follow my channel you know that uh, we've been renovating uh, the house on the ranch that we bought to list on VRBO and HomeAway and that um, uh, we have 12 beehives to maintain our ag exemption and everything has you know finally come together we got it listed um, about two and a half weeks ago and the day after I listed it um, we got a hit and the house has been booked ever since so now I've been cleaning cleaning that house and cleaning my own house and I'm tired of cleaning it's it's been a um, a nightmare, but a blessing that um, the house is successfully being booked. So, and everybody so far has um, loved their escape to the ranch. So, we hope to be able to start on the winery soon, and uh, at least by um, I'm hoping August. Uh, I mean, the end of August, September ish, um, we'll be able to start on the construction for the winery. Um, anyway, get it underway before the winter starts uh, anyways, because I would love to have it open by next summer. That is the goal. So we'll have the winery open and the uh, ranch house open. 
and our bees are doing really well. Um, we did have one queen die, so I've got a, one hive in jeopardy, um, but the other ones are doing extremely well, and they've all um, generated you know, a good amount of honey storage uh, to last them through the winter, so that was good. Oh, here I just decided to um, add some shading, additional shading to these uh, uh, flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but to these flowers. And I just thought it gave them a little bit more dimension than just, you know, being a stamped image. So, um, you know, as long as you don't use a whole lot of water, that my card bases are Nina 110 pounds solar white. As long as you don't use a whole lot of water, you're not going to have any problems with you know, peeling or anything like that. You know, just spread the color out just a little bit. And um, it just really, you know, takes the, the flower to kind of a whole different dimension. Anyway, so um, our, you know, the bees are doing good. We'll um, get a new queen for that other hive and, and it'll all get fixed back up too. Um, so here I'm using some score tape, just some really aggressive tape because I didn't want to put another layer of foam uh, tape. I thought, you know, that might be just too thick in case I did one, send one of these, uh, this, the other one through the mail to somebody. Um, or if I uh, give it away and somebody wants to send it through the mail, I uh, just thought it would be too thick. So here you see me burnishing down that tape really well with my bone folder. Um, tape is pressure sensitive. You always want to make sure that you Burnish your tape down or mash your tape down extremely well. Pressure sensitive means it will stick if you apply pressure. If you don't, it will come off. And just using a little shimmer pin here on the insides of those flowers where the yellow parts are. And uh, now I'm taking some iridescent sequence. Um, it's a mix of different sizes by uh, Little Things from Lucy's. And um, some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and my uh, tweezers here. And it, I, I have found it easier just to pick up the sequin and dip it in the glue and put the sequin where I want it. Uh, that's my method, and um, I know there's lots of other methods and different things work for different people, but this is what seems to work best for me. So I'm just going to do a, an array of sequins around, and then I'm going to take my Nuvo crystal drops in morning dew and I'm going to add that to the centers of each flower and to the centers of each of my sequins. And that just kind of helps hold those on there um, even more and give them a little bit more uh, dimension. And that's pretty much going to finish these cards for today. I'll give you some final looks at the cards. And so I appreciate everybody stopping by and watching my videos. I'll see you soon in the next one.